Okay, here we are back in Monster to Rise. So there's going to be a huge jump from the previous video, single player to this one. I've been doing the hub stuff. So I just went ahead and did all of these to test whether or not it's that much different with single player or multiplayer, and I haven't gotten around to killing all the low rank guys. I'm not in any rush to do those because I did them in the single player village, whatever you want to call them. But I have become high rank. So I'm going to knock out a pair of these and then basically just work my way towards the... Uh, what's it called? Urgent. So I'm going for Kezu here because I want a rematch. It's really that simple. I'm petty. And we want the Thunder Resist. And we did get it, so we're going to be a lot more durable. As for my gear, I guess I can show that real quick while we wait to get in there. So I am running... you can't see it here. <laughs> By the way, here are my various stats. I get six of the attack stats from my various equipment pieces. I have recoil down, even though I don't think I have anything that really runs recoil. I have a talisman with recovery, and then various pieces for ice, poison, slugger, sleep, stun. And then geologist, because of a gem that I have slotted in. Out of all these, I think stun is probably the only one that's really going to help with Kezu. <laughs> I could, like, look to see if there's anything thunder resist or something, but I'm really in no rush. Uh, the gun I'm using is the upgraded Wind Thief. I killed the Izuchi and the Rogi to upgrade it to the high rank version, so it has a bit more power to it. It's still rapid fires, pierce, and slice. And I'm probably not even going to use the slicing here because it's a Kezu. It doesn't have a tail to come off. I guess I could okay. look into doing one of those. Now, if you're not familiar with how high rank works, um... Basically, like, minerals and stuff have been replaced with higher tier stuff. All the vegetation and endemic life are still the same. You can see snow herbs, smoke nut, Escurgo. I hope I have a uh, side quest equipped. <laughs> but the things that will differ, don't worry, we're getting to it in a second. I just need to get to the bone pile. And then you do need these higher tier things in order to upgrade your stuff. Okay, screw it. I don't really care for how the controls invert there. So I think the frost cones are new, but we also have new types of bones that will appear here. And then you'll have gracium here instead of Iceum. And there will be other mineral differences. I did find the Golden Stingray thing, but I don't know how to find it in the future. Let's take a ride with Agnosum, you know what? This is a little dangerous because my set is very weak to fire, if you didn't see. And in case you're wondering what all I'm running... Small detour, small detour. That is one big bird! That might be a crown, but I don't want to fight it to find out. Anyway, where's Kezu? Wrong way. So unfortunately, this is going to be a bit of a hike. Since he's already in the cave. I don't know if we can get into it from here. The good news, though, is Agnosum is a fire element, and Kazu is weak to flame. No, the worm cannot take the heat. I did fill in all the camps, by the way, so you'll notice those are here. there based on what I've read online. Screw it, Punisher time. <laughs> nice roar, dude. So you can see my damage numbers have increased a little bit. Uh, I was hoping to get to the other side, but no dice. Yes, 
yes, I had that time. So for the time being, we'll go for some cross-section type attacks. And he'll sometimes do that twice in a row. So I'm going to put this away because I want to get his drops. His Pale Bone has been replaced with a Pale Stake for its rare. That no, wasn't very... Uh, yeah, I have to put the sarcasm on hold for a sec. And here's why I hate fighting Kazu and Giganox. So in the past I would carry like paralysis and stuff to force them down. It's just with how overpowered Pierce is in the game, I don't need it. I was actually looking at speedrun strats and I guess the light bow gun is the second fastest weapon in the game. But you have to have the proper weapon, either the Magnum Allo one for yeah. slicing sticky. Or Narga for rapid fire. Need a move. So I don't have everything optimized to really compete with those just yet since I'm only Hunter rank 4. I don't have the proper weapons, I don't have the accessories, the sets. I don't think he can drop the Pale Stake as a shiny drop, but I am not 100% sure. Still, Pale Extract is 100% respectable. And we'll load the gun as soon as we hit the ground. I don't know if I'm going to try to capture this or not. I don't have any of the stuff that amplifies your capture, well, the drops from capture. In Monster Hunter 3, that was the baggy set, which I'm actually wearing at the moment. They changed it around. So I actually need to make a small detour here. Grab you. Because now we're going to be looking for Hound, help. Thank you, Hound.
would be getting close. So that time I actually did manage to get up with the head. Just using bolt tackle. Okay, so he's been able to be captured for a little while now. It's just I haven't... Well, I opted not to. So, I think I will... Actually, we can set him up for an execute. I may even be even able to pick up some latch berries as we go. There are some on the higher grounds. This also changes from low to high. You can get some stuff here that's actually worth quite a bit, like that ship, sh uh, uh, ship shell. And those are defensive ones. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna ride the Tetranodon, but oh well. So when I fought him before it was in the multi-monster hunts and as a result he had that HP penalty, he's more durable than I realized. Looks like we now got some of his teeth or I haven't seen things. So 
So that's the largest I've ever seen, but I don't know if it's like a crown or not. The thing is, for the gold crowns, they are even weaker to pierce since they have bigger hitboxes. It's the smaller ones that tend to be a little problematic. I think the Thunder Sacks are low rank items, but the Pearl Hide is new. See, Lodge Berries. Hoping to find like a mining yes. spot, but I don't know where they are here. That's for my slicing ammo. And I'm just gonna hang around for the remainder of this. See, I do need to resupply. If I can get to the Narga stuff, that will be uh, Rapid Fire Pierce 2, which is more potent. So these are the rare drops for the low rank Kezu. And this is the rare drop of the high rank. You can see it's worth 4,000 Zenny versus 12, 000, or 1,200. Dragonbone Relic is still pretty decent. You have the Palico Mine. This, this is one of those new bones you can get. Carbolite is the new Iron Ore, I think. Or it's the Earth Crystal or something. And Dragonite is much, much easier to come by. You can see the level cap for the buddies has broken as a result of us being high rank now. Yeah, a little vengeance for low rank. As for the high rank armor sets, I don't know what I'm actually going to settle on. I'm not going to worry about the Meow scenarios right now. I You can send them on Rampage quests now, which is supposed to give better rewards or something. I don't know all the details. I can pick up that. Yeah, that's fine. So let's see who's next. Um, so these will give you advanced armor spheres now. That's actually a pretty good setup there. Need one more. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for these two. Yeah, we can do a single and then double and then round out the video. Uh, hunting notes, Kazu. Nope, not a crown. Just a big worm, that's all it was. Defender high, and I'm gonna go trainer here because I don't think these two have elements, do they? But yeah, the first piece of equipment I want to replace is my hat because the only thing that uses recoil are the status two rounds, and I only have those in my heavy bow guns, I think. Actually, does the Arzoros one use it, I wonder? But then again, I need Arzoros parts to upgrade it, so that's even more reason to do this one. Um, the Agnosum's rare drop now is the Bird Wyvern gem, which you can get from any Bird Wyvern. Baggy, Izuchi. In other games, you'd also have the Jaggy, the Velocidromes, the Gendromes, the Eadromes, and so on. There are a lot of drones, I know. But I did spec in Geologist, in case you're wondering, so that I can mine a little bit better when I get to the newer maps. You get one extra gather, which could give you an additional one or two pieces of ore, which may be what you need to get your next upgrade. I keep thinking there's something over there, but... I think it's just the drop that... The drop is sometimes beneficial. I need the shrooms. Otherwise we'll never grow like Mario.
And sometimes there's something good in there. This time it's just empty. I'm gonna hop over there just to show the mining spot, and then we will be on our hunt. Looks like Roggy's coming to us anyway. But you can see I got two carbolites. There was a mining spot near the camp that I passed up on, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna have a turf war in a moment. So I'm going to get this and then turn around. So I went away from Moragi because it's not one of the targets. It's these two that I need. So right here I have a chance to basically get double damage by having the shot pierce through Arzros and hit Juliana instead. And that is a kind of big bear. I did run into a Silver Crown earlier when I was practicing with Hunting Horn. It kind of sucks that I wanted to use something that's all about hitting stuff in the face and the sucker is too high in the air. That's all that I need about next.
Now, unlike the low rank one, this one doesn't like playing both as rock as easily. Starting to realize it's over its head. So I'm gonna make a small detour because I kind of need these. And there's latchberries right here. I'd say it shouldn't be asleep yet. It was moments like those when it was on the ground where the real DPS of the light bowman shines through. So I need to pop this real quick. The murder chicken is away, the rats come out to play. The scale ones. Stupid jabbers. So, this is where the skill Carver Pro comes into handy because there's literally nothing they can do to stop your animation once you start it. Because how long have we been waiting here and I've yet to get the first carve? Like, the animals aren't doing anything to help. They're literally just sitting there watching, taking a beating. Not 
So in older games, there wasn't as much to the carving animation. For some reason, they decided to add a lot more to it in this one. Uh, right at the last freaking second, and that stupid dog just watches. <laughs> so it's possible the body could despawn long before I actually get the chance to get this final card because the stupid animals won't do anything. So yeah, even after I take out the gun and start using it, you can see one is just screwing around in the corner and the other one is getting knocked around like a big <laughs> Five minutes later, we finally get it. Yes! I'm not gonna mind wrong you, let's just fight normal. Wasted too much time as it is. Let's cue this up. So, try to be civilized, but they wouldn't. Anyway, his rear drop is going to be the beast gem. Safe for a moment before he does the bear hug.
Now this was a minimum of a silver crown. And this is Arzoros' rare drop that I just got by chance. And that was a gold crown.